everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play God of War, where we are still looking for the whetstone, so Sindri can finally shut up about it. And I'm guessing I have to get to that boat over here. But yeah, let's see um, what else we can find. Well, first of all, we're finding a few nightmares. And apparently a wolf as well. Didn't see that one coming at all. Okay. That seems to be all. Let's keep going. Um, this looks like something I can climb. No, not climb, but shimmy across. Okay, apparently it's just another chest. And yep, this seems to be a dead end. So, I guess we gotta go down here. Ah, yep, there's my, my quest what marker. Over there? Um, hmm. Well, let's fill up my rage completely. Don't really need the XP that <laughs> badly has him. Um. Oh, I guess I have to bring down that bridge somehow. Oh, I see. There's something over here. Ah. That is different. But okay, it works. Here. This is the sun. Oh. That ghost son? How do you know? The sigil. <laughs> it matches the dagger we found in his father's back. He stood his ground, but it was not enough. Looks like his betrayal didn't get him very far. They betrayed him. Betrayal begets betrayal. <laughs> My guess, the young one murdering his dad didn't sit well with the others. He thought himself ready to lead. It cost him his life. I see. I guess. Look there, lad. By his feet. The whetstone! Oh, there it is. <laughs> yes. They used it to smash his face in. They Great. Ew. Now Sindri won't touch it. Because it's full of blood. Oh, um... There is someone coming here. <laughs> well, I guess not everyone died in... That massacre here. Also, there's like some that are on the on the ledges throwing bombs at me. I mean, I might be able to use their bombs at my advantage, but didn't really work out that well the last time. So I'm not sure if it's going to work now. Entirely sure about that. <laughs> oh, well, let's maybe just use the rage we accumulated. That should hopefully at least take care of this stupid traveler here. There we go. And now we can deal with these guys. One for you. Okay. I wonder why they left this whetstone behind. If Sindri wants it, it must be really useful. Well, lad, reavers have very specific priorities. <laughs> if it's not shiny and you can't eat or drink it, might as well use it as a blunt object. Yeah, I don't think they really realize the value of it. 
Probably only a blacksmith would appreciate the value of whetstone. But okay, um, we got the stone. Now let's have a quick look around. A shattered gauntlet of ages, epic talisman, an ancient relic of hell deemed too powerful to remain whole. Fragments of its former strength lie scattered throughout the realms. Um, so <laughs> what does it do? I can activate it, but it doesn't tell me what's happening when I activate it. Also, it's um, not really better than what I currently have. I mean, maybe once you level it up, it has better stats, but for now I'm going to uh, leave this behind, or well, ignore it anyway, not leave it behind. Okay, we got more traveler armor shards, so I might be able to craft something with it. Um, okay, now. Let's see, there's some health crystals that I don't really need. I'm trying to figure that out. I wonder if I can get back up there. Because one of the reavers left behind some, some gold or hex silver. Um, yeah, that's, that's where it came from. But what about, what about this chest over here? Surely there must be a way to get to this. Can you shoot this through here? Oh yeah, we can. Oh, and now you can squeeze through here. There we go. <laughs> hey, just some hex silver and steel. Okay, that seems to be all. Um, okay. Well, this is a way we can go, apparently. And oh, great! Uh, we have more nightmares just waiting for us. And more reavers. I need to get away from these explosions. <laughs> that was there good, we go. right? You have potential, boy. Anyway, maybe let's start by removing all the sap here. Okay. And... Oh, hang on a second. What do we have here? Oh, we can enter the actual boat. Look here. Yes, sir! Another map. Bet we'll find something useful here. <laughs> Let me have a look at it. Nerds Osman. On my last voyage, my ship was ravaged by Thor's thunder and storms. I had given up hope when the gentle wind of Nerd parted the dark clouds and filled my sails. I have hidden my treasure up high, where I can forever row with Nerds Osman. Okay. Um. We know where this one is, so able to find that one easily. What does it say? This says, false leader. I've seen it written all over this place. It is. So I guess they actually mean the, the son who thought he could be the leader of this crew. Hmm, does this mean someone died during a hunt? Oh no, this is not what I just found, right? Yeah, I kind of lost the proper the proper place. There we go. Is this what Vandred wrote about his father or what the crew wrote about Vandred after they mutinied? 
I guess it would apply to both of it. Hamingia Essence, legendary enchantment, an enchantment that increases luck. Guess I'll take this. And yeah, that's all inside here. But clearly, there's more for us to explore. Um, first of all, let me remove the poison. Oh, I think that's the one chest we've seen a while ago. Okay. Again, nothing too special inside here. Huh. I thought there was like another interaction button, but it was just some particles from poison or something. Um, okay. I still wonder if I can get back up on this ledge to pick up the loot left behind by the Reavers. There sure is a lot to see here. There is. And I'm trying to figure out how to get to all these places. I don't know. Let's see what's going on over here. There's a scroll here. It belonged to the sun. Wow, this goes on and on. Okay. A son's regret. Dad, while you were off hunting and pillaging, Granddad raised me, taught and cared for me. I loved him. And you stabbed him in the back. I hated you. But time has a way of changing things. The clan celebrated. They spat on his kind spirit, saw it as proof of weak leadership. As much as I hate to admit it, the Hesla farm mother thrived with you at the helm. As a boy, I made an oath to the Nornia that I would avenge him. My skill with the blade grew, and you finally began to notice me. We grew closer, but the Nornia do not suffer broken oath, not even those made by a grieving child. Their chest outside Fafnir's storeroom, it reminded me of that oath, so the cycle of betrayal continues. You killed the only father I ever knew, but even now I regret my actions and I am filled with remorse. Forgive me, Vandred. Okay, there we go. We finally have a bit of context why he killed his father. And, you know, this doesn't make him sound quite as nefarious, right? Father, forgive me. Filled with remorse. Forget my actions. Hmm. Had he thought before taking action, there would be no need for regret, yes? Yeah. Maybe we should bring this to his father. Hmm. Back at the storeroom. Hmm. <laughs> Well, I guess we can do that. Not sure if he would care, but why not? Okay, now we are back here. Um, but I'm pretty sure there's still some stuff for me to explore in this place. Oh, I see. I guess I have to take the boat and... Then I can go back inside here, right? Okay. That works for me. Let's grab the boat. Find a different exit. Well, we may have found one already. Okay, now we can land our boat here, but I'm not sure if I have to. Yeah, I still feel that there's stuff for us to do here, like this chest over here. Hmm. How would we get to that one? Oh, there might be a way through here? 
Um, well, maybe maybe through here. Okay, let's let's check this out. Here. There sure is a lot to see here. That's just more gold. <laughs> Not sure why I even bother to destroy these. They don't really seem to yield anything. Okay, this is opening the gate. And, okay, I might get back to that chest I saw earlier. Yep, here we go. And there we go, chest. And more crafting resources. Okay, yeah, um, I think I'm going to leave this place behind for now. We got what we came for, the whetstone. Now we just have to take it back to Sindri. <laughs> and I mean, this might be the gate we saw before we entered the stronghold, so... He should be, like, right there. around the corner. This is where Sindri has his current workshop, and I can see that raven. You didn't happen to find the whetstone, perchance. I happened to find it. Anyway, let me take care of the raven. 17 of 51. So, Sinri, finally I have that whetstone for you. We found your whetstone. Oh, wonderful! This staining is unusual. The Reavers used it to smash another Reaver's <laughs> face in. Oh, wonderful. Here, for your trouble. Okay, Resla Farmada's Grip, legendary expert. I can't wait to test out the new whetstone. It may not look like much, but it's practically humming with magic. I've needed a new one after my brother borrowed the last one. I saw him spit on it. <laughs> to lube it up, he said. I didn't ask for it back. So you didn't want that one because he spit on it, but you're fine with the blood on this whetstone. <laughs> okay. I mean, at least you can still use it. Um, again, I'm not sure if this is going to be better once I upgraded it. Speaking of which, what speaks to you? Um, I can, yes, I can create like some more armor, like for the Tyr's armor. Again, it doesn't look better, but once I have upgraded it and you know exchanged the runes, it might be better, or the enchantments, because um, it's obviously comparing it to my current armor, which has enchantments in it. Oh, this one. I mean, again, it doesn't look better, but I have to actually try to craft it and then put enchants, enchantments in it and then compare it. And that's why I usually do it off camera, because I make a save, I craft the armor, I upgrade it, and then I can see if it's actually better. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell um, in this situation. And if it isn't, I'm just reloading the previous save so I don't waste the resources for something that I don't want to wear. Um, and yeah, the same for this one. I can't upgrade this one because I need more of that alloy. What about the talisman? Hm. Again, it, it doesn't doesn't tell me what exactly it's doing if it's activated, which of course uh, makes me curious to just you know 
give it a try Sometimes and see the what best happens. Purchase is the one we don't make. <laughs> Sometimes oh. it is, yes. But yeah, I will I will test out different pieces of armor and you know craft and craft them and upgrade them. But I will do it off camera. So I guess we can leave now. But um, I mean we just got like a new quest where we can return to the father, right? Maybe we want to do this on our way back. Which one is it? Time heals all. Let the spirit in Fafnir's storeroom know how his son died. Okay. So I'm not going to take the portal back to Brock's shop. I will just row back and return to the storeroom. What happened to the city? I'm not entirely sure, lad. It was abandoned long before Jormungandr came to town and flooded the place. Hmm. I wonder what it was like to live here. So, the water was even lower before Jormungandr came here. Was there even a lake before he came here? Um, but okay, I'm still kind of far away from the storeroom. Yeah, I have to go to Jörmungandr's head over here. Which should be in this direction. But this place has changed too since our last visit. For example, these giant bones. We're not here before. So was there like a previous serpent or dragon that died here? Because this must have been a pretty big creature. Okay, okay, I guess um gotta go up here now. I saw another raven. There sure is a lot to see here. Um, yeah, let me take care of the raven oh. first. And yes, I'm right underneath Jormungandr now. But the rest here should be more or less the same. They should be unaffected oh. by the falling water, right? Yep, this is pretty much the same. <laughs> and now Sindri's here again. Doesn't seem to have anything new for us. So let's just continue to the storeroom. Of course it's possible that in the meantime enemies have respawned here. So let's be careful. Yeah, I think I can I can no, no, see some here. It might be a little bit too far away for a proper throw. <laughs> Alright. Let's go and finish them off. Don't seem to be very strong enemies, so Yes. This will be a quick battle. Okay. Yeah, nothing too special. And I believe we can now enter through the main gate. Also, Atreus, isn't this... follow me. Yep, this is where one of the treasures is. Eternal Frost, legendary, unmeltable ice from the furthest reaches of hell, used to upgrade pommels with frost damage effects found in treasure map caches. 
Eye of Runic Mastery, Legendary Enchantment. Taking damage during a runic attack reduces damage taken by 15%. Ah, this might be useful. I notice that sometimes when I'm initiating my runic attack, the enemy is faster and still uh, manages to damage me. Anyway, let's go straight for the main room, which I think was over here. And let's see if the ghost is still around. What are you fools doing back here? Come to pill for my boots and small clothes. Actually, I have some news for you. We found your son. He... He was betrayed too. And we found part of his journal. It sounded like he regretted killing you. <laughs> Fat lot of good that does me. How'd he go out? Hmm. He died fighting? We found four corpses near his. They were decapitated. Ha! Ah, Vandrid always did keep his sword nice and sharp. A lesson he picked up from me. <sighs> He's a backstabbing bastard, but. <laughs> No one he's in Valhalla sets me at ease. Thanks. Okay, well, apparently he did appreciate it. He did it. a good thing. I'm glad we came back here. That thief did not deserve the peace you <laughs> gave him. Maybe so. Still, it feels good to help people. Even right. the devil. <laughs> so much like your mother. Well, maybe it's because you've never been around. So obviously he would take after his mother and not after you. Because apparently... He wasn't um, with his family all that often. So we got a new enchantment. Tears shot. Bonus to all stats. That seems uh, useful. But yeah, um, this was a pretty quick and easy quest. So um, I think what I'm going to do now, I will spend some time at the Sindri's shop to, I don't know, craft a few armors, upgrade them, and then see if I want to replace any of my current armor. And that will take some time, so I will do it off camera. And after that, I don't know, we have some time left, so I will try to think of something to do after that. Maybe I'll just explore a little bit. Maybe we will uh, go back to our main mission. I haven't decided yet. Alright, I am back. I have crafted, I have upgraded and I have decided to actually keep the armor that I crafted. Um, as you can see, I'm now wearing Tyr's Lost Unity Belt and compared to the one that I had earlier, this one actually is a lot better once it's upgraded and enchanted. I mean the runic attack is a little bit weaker, but I would say the rest more than makes up for it. So yeah, um, we have a somewhat new outfit. I'm still wearing like the same chest piece because um, I did try the Traveler's armor, but I can't fully upgrade that one yet since I'm uh, still missing more of these shards. So it wasn't better than what I'm currently wearing. But yeah, um, I think what I'm going to do now, I will take the portal back to Tyr's Temple. And then we will check out Tyr's vault, so we will continue with the main mission. I think there's enough time left in this episode that we can make some progress um, with the main story, hopefully. I know I've been up in a mountain for a while now, but since when do the dead not stay dead? A little resurrection among friends is one thing, I can hardly complain. <laughs> but it's as if hell itself is shambling into Midgard. Freya said the world was out of balance. That somebody meddled with forces. Oh, that's plain to see. And Odin is the king of meddlers. But I shudder to think what he did to cause this. Perhaps it involves the Valkyries. That'd be playing a dangerous game indeed. <gasps> okay, can you elaborate on that? Mimir on the dead. Even Mimir doesn't know why there's so many dead men walking around Midgard, but he suspects Odin's meddling and maybe the Valkyries. Well, I would like to hear more about that. Okay, 
we are back at Brock's shop. What's got you all bum fuzzled over there? Get going! <laughs> I just wanted to check if I can talk to you, but apparently he doesn't have any new dialogue. Now, um, I think we saw like the door to the vault down here. Yeah, on, on a lower level. Okay. Here we go. Let's use our magical chisel and let's open this magical gate. Apparently that's not enough. Um, am I like on a timer here? Oh, there's more. Oh yeah, I guess I have to find the three spots quick enough. Okay, here we go. Wow, I can't believe we're setting foot in Tears Vault. Tears Bridge Interior. Another one of these. Hmm. Huh. Over there. It's Tear, but. The middle panel is missing. Wait, I thought Tyr was a god, not a giant. Ah, but he was loved by everyone, including the giants. Other than me, he was the only one they gifted with their special sight. Hey, I wonder if the giants left a triptych about me somewhere too. <laughs> you would probably enjoy that, huh? Um... Go ahead. Actually, come look. Let me show you how to read this. That is not necessary. You've taught me so much. Let me teach you something. Well, he has a point, but I was still trying to figure out... What if you need to use one and I'm not there? This will be fun. Yeah, hang on a second. I'll, I'll be with you in a moment. I want to see what this shrine is showing us. I mean, obviously we have Odin and Thor over here with an army. And I'm guessing this is... Freya with her boar and maybe Frey next to her. So this could be like the war between the AC and the Vanya and two are trying to negotiate, right? And now we have again Odin and Thor and I guess that's supposed to be Tyr and now he's dead. So maybe they killed him and that's what the middle panel was supposed to show just just a guess what do we get over here oh this is this is just the way outside I guess I can enter this from two sides huh or did I get turned around no I think I think we can and they're from two sides. Also, um... Go ahead. Actually, come look. Let me show you how to read this. That is not necessary. You've taught me so much. Let me teach you something. Huh. And these runes say... Yours. What if you need to use one and I'm not there? This will be fun. But okay, um... Atreus really, really wants to show me how to read runes. And I guess he has a point. So let's do it. Atreus. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. <laughs> I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. Okay. So the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods. Some animals. Wait. Some... Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry. Not that. Hmm? You smell something. Uh-oh. Yeah, I do. Smells like... Rain? Oh, um... Oh, it's... Him again. You ruined everything! I earned that fucking hammer! <laughs> but now, everyone's gonna think I only got it. Cause Magni's gone! So that is your main concern? Joke. 
Or if I kill you, oh dear. no one's gonna laugh at me. Oh dear. Oh, be careful. Careful, I pray. Are you dumb? That your father's doing? Or did you get it from your mum? <sighs> She's stupid and ugly. Shut up! Oh dear, you're making him angry again. <laughs> Don't mention his mother. You don't know anything about my mother. Oh, it's true. But I'm gonna get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother. What? Right after I finish killing your father! What does that even mean? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Whoops. I think I broke him. What happened? Oh, um, I guess I can use some rage here, huh? Alright. Let's do it. Stay back! Huh. Well, now you made him angry. That should worry you a lot more. No. 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 This isn't over. You're kind of pathetic. Brother, the boy. Yeah. Atreus. What happened to him? You have to get into Freya quickly. There's no other way. Okay. Okay. So now we have to go to Freya after all. Oh dear, um, yeah, I guess he got too angry again. He probably has it from his father because as we've seen, he can get pretty angry as well, but he has like an outlet for it. He can use his rage and, you know, channel it into battle. Um, oh, I can only walk in like a very specific direction. Take the boat. Freya's isn't far. Also, the place has changed. It's looking very, very ominous now. And Atreus isn't looking good at all. Oh dear. Guess we should have taken that more seriously and went to her earlier. Yeah, look at this place. It's kind of starting to get dark. You can see the lights on the different gates and Jörmungandr's eyes. Anyway, let's not waste too much time here. We need to take him to Freya. Odin's eye is on you, brother. Especially now that you've taken to killing his kin. <laughs> Freya's forest is a blind spot for him. This is our smartest move. And if anyone can heal him, it's her. What is happening to him? I've seen it in mortals that some conflict of the mind expresses itself as an ailment of the body. Never in a god. But a god believing hmm. himself mortal. I can only imagine. We're almost there. So you think it's because he doesn't know that he's a god and there's like conflicting information in his mind about his internal powers and his belief that he's just like human interesting in which case you should maybe tell him the truth Kratos I also wonder if Atreus's mother knew that Kratos is a god you would think that she would have told Atreus if she had known. Oh dear. Somebody just called the serpent. Oh. Yes. How? I thought no one is able to talk to him in his language. Kratos is getting nervous. Huh? 
Okay. Onwards we go. Um, can't run, by the way. Runs harder. He is shaking. It's serious. We must hurry. Yeah, I would like to hurry, but I can't. Can't run. I'm still a god. Yeah. Go away. The boy has fallen ill. Yeah, we didn't part on the best Freya. terms. He's ill. But at least inside, she's still on good terms with Atreus. This Atreya's. is no ordinary illness. The boy's true nature, your true nature, fights within him. Okay. a rare ingredient found only in Helheim. The keeper that protects the Bridge of the Damned. I need its heart. Mm. Hell. The Realm of the Dead. Do you know it? Not this one. It is a land of unyielding gold. Fires cannot burn there, and no magic in all the Nine Realms can create a blaze. As for the dead, your frost axe will be useless. Great! You'll need to find something else. Then I must return home. Okay. Dig up a past I swore would stay buried. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. And he needs his father. This rune opens the bridge to Helheim. When you are there, do not under any circumstances cross the Bridge of the Damned. There is no road back. Understand? Mm. Uh. Boy. Hey, Mille. You must hurry. Through my garden, there's a path leading to my boat. Take it. Return home. Dig up your past. Do whatever you need to do. Just bring me back the Bridge Keeper's heart. And your son may survive. Now. Okay. Well, I guess we have our work cut out for us. I need to go to Helheim. Yeah. When last we spoke, I was... No. You were right to distrust the word of a god. No need to explain. Not to me, not for that. I will keep him safe. That's a mother's promise. Okay, use Freya's boat to return home. Okay, so apparently first we need to go home and dig up his past, whatever that means. And then we will literally go to hell. But I guess that will have to wait until the next episode. This seems to be a good place to make a cut. Use the garden door. My boat is down the path. Go. Time is not our friend. So as always, thank you for watching and see you again next time.